takes two liters of paint to, to paint the surface of a solid sphere. Wonderful. Solid sphere, two liters. But this is four pi r square. This is get covered by two liters. Solid sphere is sliced into four identical pieces. How many liters will be required to paint all this? And so four identical pieces. So we are going to slice right through the center and then right through the center. Cutting hemisphere and then I don't know what they are called, quarter spheres. And so remember, we are going to cut into a hemisphere like this. Then obviously you will have 4 pi r square as the area. This plus this accounts for 4 pi r square. But we have this as well and this as well. This is pi r square, this is pi r square. So cutting it to a hemisphere will add pi r square plus pi r square to pi r square to our area. And then we slice like this. So that there's going to be that region in between that gets, that needs to get accounted for on both sides of the hemisphere. And then this and this, We're slicing a hemisphere into two. Or effectively, if you imagine this, it's like you have cut it like this and then you're cutting it off like that. So these two surfaces get added. Again, pi r square plus pi r square. So to our original 4 pi r square, we add pi r square twice, twice over. Or to 4 pi r square, we add 4 pi r square. Or we're going to 8 pi r square. We needed 2 liters to paint 4 pi r square. To paint 8 liters, we need 4 pi r square. 